Hey, you, stop there. Who dares trespass on the realm of Aslona? <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back to this part of War Sim, the realm of Aslona. In the last episode, we engaged in some diplomacy to hopefully improve relations with our neighbors without much success. We did get one alliance and a trade agreement, which should earn us some extra money. And in this episode, we will try to invade our enemy's lands and gain some of their kingdom. Uh, but first, we will actually explore the realm here. We will explore north. And let's see what we find. Ooh, Fort Northwatch, okay. We can attack the fort or we can buy it for 50,000 gold. Nope. We don't have the forces for that. So let's actually, oh, let's actually explore some more to the north here. Ooh, Brawler's Pit. Wow, okay. We can watch some fights and stuff. Not really interested in that so far. Oh, see the envoy of a foreign king whose banner you do not recognize. You approach and explain that you too are a king of this land and ask him his business. He claims that he is passing through the realm in search of noble knights to fight for his cause. You will hire a single one of your knights if you so permit. Wow, 1,500 gold, considering they cost 500 each. Yep, I'm going to sell one of you and I'm actually going to get some more. Which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's see, recruit and sell troops. Iron Knights. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get three. No, you know what? Let's just get... Mm, no, let's get two. There we go. Just to give us a little bit of extra gold. And we will now see who is in our throne room. We have 12 people. All right, let's see what we can do. An old man. If we can spare a few coins as the man's dog is starving. Uh, 30 gold? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, public opinion. Very good. Next visitor. Oh. <laughs> Soldier killed a farmer's favorite chicken. Hmm. Malas. Okay. Uh, sure. I will pay for your dead chicken. Next visitor. Traveling bard. Oh, clicking ways. Uh, no. Well, actually, let's let's listen to it. Let's. What's your name? Bjorthguth. All right. Hi, Bjorthgut. Um, sure, pay for his performance. Okay, let's skip that. That was a great performance. Can we actually hire you? Oh, oh well. Let's actually let you leave, and we will send in the next visitor. An armed bandit who says he wishes to fight for you. You must pay off a small debt of 10 gold. Sure. Considering soldiers cost 50, that's totally worth it. Next visitor. Accused of killing a group of peasants. Explain yourself. These guards have got it in for me. Ask the arresting guard for a statement. I have my doubts, my lord. Perhaps he's innocent. All right. Let's actually release him. Oh, he's not a rebel. Okay. Wow. So he was actually wrongfully accused. I'm very glad. A young man who claims to be the distant cousin of yours. Guess you loan him a thousand gold to the dungeons with him. <laughs> Next visitor. You are visited by a traveling bard. Tale of the demons. Wow. That was actually probably not a bad song. I'm surprised he actually just left. Next visitor. An armed bandit. 24 gold. Yep. Sure. Next visitor. A wise man. Says uh, some advice to share. What's your advice? Uh, really? Uh, sure, just leave. Uh. A farmer who claims one of your soldiers tricked him out of a bag of gold and he wants it back. Sure. An armed bandit? Yes. Join me. And for the last visitor here. Wow, really? <laughs> Smelly wheat. Okay, sure. Uh, that sounds like uh, sounds like you're making that story up. But who might uh, who might to assume? All right, so let's actually arrange some diplomacy and let's see the bandit horde. Seventeen hundred. Wow. The rebels have thirteen hundred. That's actually quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know who to attack. 
Oh wait, can I trade with the minor goblin clans, really? They don't have any gold, so I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Hmm. I wonder, is there like a more powerful clan? Because we're not at war. I don't really want to attack them, because they might just all suddenly start attacking me. You know, they're all about the same... Oh, that one's actually not bad. But I wonder what the point of a trade agreement with these would be, but... I mean, sure. Oh. A call for a celebration. Now let's send some gifts. Oh, 50 goblin trebles to protect you. Wow. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh, and we gave them a thousand gold, and now they have a thousand gold. This is really good. You know, let's actually do it for all of these. I don't see what... Uh... Oh, you gotta celebrate for all of them. Alright, you know what? Let's do that for a couple, but... How much gold do we have? 2,305. That's not very much. Um, let's do it for the most powerful kingdom, maybe. That might actually be a good idea. Which was number five here. Yeah, 1,000 gold. Let's do that. Okay, so that's 150 goblin tribals. That's really good. <laughs> What's their leader? Their leader's name is Jack the Failed Conqueror. Oh. They do have a lot of men. Which could be useful. Hmm. Is it worth allying with them? No, you know what? No, let's not do that yet. Let's actually... Who are the monstrous sons? Oh. Attempt to hire them or bribe them to disband? Hmm. Nah. Um, minor bandit clans? Oh, I guess, could we attack the minor bandit clans, I wonder? Because they do raid us, which is not very nice. And I think uh, putting an end to that would be a good idea. So let's actually end the turn here. Can we attack the bandits? Oh, we can. There we go. Okay. Um... Let's attack the Cleon Black Cloaks, I think. Okay, let's actually invade them completely. All my troops. Wow, good. We actually got 66 of them. They got 11. We have 759 men remaining. We got one land. Excellent. And we're actually making a little bit of money. But uh, not too much, but that's fine. Most of it's in wages, pretty much. Oh, and we didn't get attacked. This is incredible. All right, let's actually explore the kingdom here a bit. I mean, explore the realm. Let's head west a little bit as well, even though... Yeah, let's head west. Mumfort Mine, wow. Very tempting to attack, but they are very powerful. You know what, let's go for the attack. Wow, we actually killed all of them, and we only lost 96 men. That is awesome. Oh, the mine is ours. There we go. So we actually killed 350 of them. We lost a few more, but that's fine. Most of them are probably goblins anyway. And that's good. Now the mine is ours. So now we can turn peasants into miners, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, let's actually do all of them. Uh, let's do 300. There we go. So now they're actually going to start working in the mines, which will make us quite a bit of money, uh, which is actually awesome. There are, yeah, 14,328 ore inside of it, which is really good. Uh, this is good news. Alright, we don't have that much gold. But let's actually explore the realm some more, because I don't think we actually explored completely. Magic theater? What's this? <laughs> Watch the magic fish performance. Arrowhead performance? Oh, decaying demon performance? Whoa. Uh, let's watch the fish performance, maybe. Really? For 10 gold? Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just watch the Arrowhead performance. 
Wow. Fantastic show, guys. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Let's explore some more. You wander aimlessly. Oh, well. Ah, oh, that magic show was... Ah. Uh, inspiring. All right. Let's actually uh, end our turn here. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, so let's attack the bandits again. I think it was the Cleon Black Cloaks we attacked last time. We'll invade them again. All my troops. Get them. Wow. They only had seven bandits left, really? Victory! Congratulations, my king. Cleon Black Cloaks have been crushed. A few of their peasant prisoners have rallied to your cause. Well, Fifteen peasants. Oh, we're being attacked. Uh, Sure. Oh, only 40, and they lost two. That's actually... Oh, they only have 233 men remaining? Oh, I guess that was the uh, skirmish anyway. Oh no, our lands were captured. <gasps> no! Okay. Let's actually see how much money we're making from this mine. We're making 2,100 gold from this mine. Which is absolutely incredible. So we're now making about 2,500 gold now, which is very good. But they actually stole one of our lands. Which is not very nice at all. Let's explore here, the northern lands. Uh, now let's keep going west. Let's actually go to the Mumfort Mine and get some more peasants here. 79, let's put another 50 of them in here. Okay, should be a substantial amount of money. Let's explore a little bit here. Oh, wishing well. Uh, sure. Okay, we throw a coin into the well. The coin vanishes in front of your eyes almost the moment it falls into the water. I really don't know what that does. <laughs> but, uh, who knows? <laughs> Let's explore some more. Gibbering monk. You come upon a gibbering monk, sat on a carpet, uttering nonsense. There is a small basket that contains various coins. <laughs> we can give him one coin, we can steal his basket, or we can kill him. Let's give him a coin. Seems unreactive. Let's keep giving him... Oh, the Jibbering Monk grows spots and warts on his head? <laughs> the Jibbering Monk makes his face go green. Oh, you get two gold coins. <laughs> okay. Two gold coins, wow. <laughs> Spiky hair, wow, this monk is... Hmm? The Jibbering Monk shouts something in L in leg what okay let's start again the gibbering monk shouts something illegible and after a while a peasant appears from over a hill and declares himself in your service who are you <laughs> you crazy monk but i like you can i hire you can can you come back to my court so i can do this over and over again uh oh i guess i can't oh well let's explore a little bit more oh small haven can recruit villagers we can speak to the village elder yeah speak to the village elder the elder of the village of Smallhaven approaches. His name is Darmok, and he happily greets you. Is that a Star Trek reference? <laughs> ask about Smallhaven. We can ask about Deadland, about the west. Maybe this is how you know what is west of you. The westlands are home to the most civilized men in the realm. The northerners are savages, the southerners are barbaric, and the easterners are backwards. Okay. Ask about the village champion. The current village champion is Halmar of Smallhaven. Request a trade caravan. Oh. Oh, Small Haven would be pleased to trade with you. We have little to offer besides our crops. Wow. Demand a yearly tribute? Nah. That seems a little bit harsh. Let's ask you about Small Haven. Small Haven is a closed community of farmers. There isn't much of interest to do here, but those who wish us no harm are always welcome. Okay, buddy. Sure. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. Take hostile action. Oh, we can challenge the visit the village champion. Oh, if we got a hero. Uh, something to keep in mind for later, maybe. Uh, we can no longer explore, but what we can do. I would like to recruit some more troops. Let's actually first visit our throne room, see if there's anyone left. Nine people. Okay, so we might be able to get some more soldiers. Uh oh, you are visited by a mysterious cloaked man with red skin. He offers you a chance at the coin of fate. Should you choose to flip it, you stand either to gain riches or death. Should the coin land on heads, 
You shall breathe your last breath. Should it land of tails, you will earn a great deal of wealth. Um, let's actually refuse, but not kick him out. So he might actually come back, because I don't want to die. <laughs> the guards bring forward a man who is accused of plotting to murder you. Ask him to explain himself. I cannot lie, I am a rebel, but I didn't plot anything. Let's ask the guard for a statement. Guilty. No, that's not good enough. Let's release him. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die next turn. Next visitor. A traveling game master visits your court and invites you to play a popular tavern game called Sudden Death. He says the game costs 20 gold per play and the prize is double your 20 gold. He says he plays Western Rules. Uh, how do you play Sudden Death anyway? Okay, so the player chosen to go first rolls the nine dice and whichever dice land on a six are removed from play. Each turn, the active player must get at least one six to remain in the game. A player who does not get a six loses. The player clears all the dice on his turn, he wins. Uh, can I hire you as a staff member? Oh, I can. Wow, Gorlick, no, Gorick the Powerful. Wow, cool name. Um, yeah, sure, let's actually hire you. Wow, nice. Let's end to the next visitor. You are visited by a young, disgraced knight who wants to go on a quest for you and Aslona. Yes, definitely. Traveling jester who says he just wishes to make you laugh hysterically with a handwritten joke. Uh, sure. Dwarves are stupid. Seriously? Uh, to the dungeons with him. For being a racist. <laughs> Send in the next visitor. You are visited by a farmer who claims one of your soldiers uh, called... Stole this chamber pot. Okay. I don't know for what he'd steal it, my lord. But I need a chamber pot. Where else will I, you know, pee? <laughs> okay, sure, I'll give you seven gold. <laughs> wow, plus one public opinion. Nice, I got him to vote for me in the next election. Shady man arrives in your court and invites you to play a coin flip game. Uh, no, thank you. I am not much of a betting man. A once famed knight, my king, I wish to take up arms and fight and find honor questing for you, sure. Wow, so many quests. And one last visitor. Oh, a hedge knight. Uh, I will allow you to quest also, wow. How many quests do we have, like 15, 20? Nobody here, so let's actually end our turn. And we will attack the dreaded arrows next. Let's invade them and all of our troops. Wow. Got one land. And that's the end of turn. Whoa. We made about 5,000 gold this turn. That's very good. Including 2,500-ish from our Mumford mine, which is absolutely great. And we did not get attacked. And for some reason, we're losing public opinion. I'm not really sure why that is, but anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of War Sim, The Realm of Aslona. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to leave a like, as well as a comment, if you'd like to recommend any other games I should cover on my channel in the future. As always, please subscribe if you wish, and we'll see you again soon.